Hey everybody, welcome back to N90X and the SDX series. I'm going to show you a new way to upgrade your SDX if you just got it from the factory. This is a 8400 SDX. It comes from the factory 10.5 60.7. That's the version. And according to Citrix documentation, you can now upgrade directly from 10.5 to 12.0 and the way to do that you just have to make sure that the service management the service virtual machine is 10.5 build 57 or higher as you can see whoops as you can see here we are 10.5 build 60.7 so definitely we are good to go now you need to go to Citrix website I'm in the process of downloading the build right now. But if you can't find it, just search for the SDX bundle here in downloads. Search for SDX bundle. And this doesn't have to be selected, uh, the Citrix ADC. Just search for SDX bundle and you'll get a few choices. I decided to go with the 12.1, which was released April 1st, 2019. And here's the file. When you click on it, you'll get that screen which I just showed, just had before this one here. And when you click on the accept here, it'll start downloading. As you can see here, it's downloading right now. All right. So it'll take a little while. So it's about six more minutes. It's uh, 1.61 gigabytes, this particular file. And we'll pause right now and pick up when the file has been delivered. Okay, file has downloaded. Next step to do is to <clears throat> can close it. Next step to do is to upload. Go to Management Services. Well, it logged out. Go back to Management Services and Management Services. Management Services uh, Images. We're going to upload. And browse where that file, single bundle. It's a tar file. Uh oh. Uh oh, there's a problem. There's a problem right there. We don't want a tar. Do we want a tar file? Hang on a second. Let's see. We want the TGZ file, which was unfortunately put in trash. So let's grab it. Put it back in my downloads. So be careful for that. I'm on a Mac, and the Mac wants to unzip it. So there is the TGZ file. You want that file. Grab it, upload it. Now this is going to upload it to the SDX. Okay, that'll take a little while. Once it's up there, we can move on to the next step. So let me pause this video. Okay, that upload only took about two minutes. I'm on a gigabit network. This is a the Netscape SDX that I have does have 10 gig ports, but I'm not using them. So that was pretty fast. Now the next step, once that's up there, we can go to System, Upgrade Management System. Now I know what you're thinking. What about upgrades and server? Because it's a bundle, and because this is 10.5 greater than 57, we can we have to go and we should go directly to Upgrade Management Service, and it sees it. It's the only image there and click OK. Now this should go through the whole process, might take a few more few minutes. It should go and upgrade the whole thing. Let's click OK. Oh. The selected image will upgrade the entire appliance which may cause the appliance to reboot. Yes, yes, it's gonna reboot, I'm pretty sure, because it has to upgrade the underlying virtual server. So that's gonna do its thing. Okay, we're the upgrade finished. And as you can see, this is definitely a new version. I'm going to skip that. We are now 
release 12.1.51, which I expected, yeah. Uh, if we go to configuration, hypervisor information 6.1, yep, yep. So that is the process you would go through to look if there's if there's no reason for you to go to SDX version 11 and you want to go directly to version 12, that's how you do it. You can totally bypass going to version 11. However, if you need to go to version 11, I have a video. I'll put a link in the description below. Previous video on how to go from 10.5 to 11, and then another video to go from 11 to 12. And this is how you would go basically from either 10.5 or 11 to version 12. Alright, I hope this video has been helpful to you. This is Joe from N90X. Visit us at n90x.info for more information. And until next time, I hope this video has been helpful. If you'd like to help out, you can go help us out at paypal.me forward slash hjrr to provide any kind of one-time tip. And I really appreciate your support. Oh, guys, one last tip, pro tip. Wait until you see this message. Citrix ADC SDX has been upgraded, okay? Wait for that so that you know that the underlying Zen server has truly been updated. What I showed you before was that the service virtual machine had been upgraded, but looking through the console, it was still doing the Zen server upgrade in the background, and that took a few more minutes. So wait for this before you either power off or log in. Wait for this screen to show up on your, in your browser where you were logged into the SDX SVM or the Service Virtual Machine. All right? All right. We'll see you on the next video.